Hi, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here today with my friends at AllFreeKnitting.com to talk to you about how to convert a pair of mittens into a pair of convertible mittens. So I've knit my mitten until I'm just about at uh, my knuckles on the back of my hand. And I'm ready to add some waste yarn to the side on my palm, and I'm going to be essentially knitting two rows right here on my palm so that later after I've completed the knit the mitten I can remove the stitches on the palm pick them up and knit some to then create the opening so normally I would continue knitting in the color across the palm of the mitten but instead because I'm going to eventually remove these stitches I am going to take some waste yarn which is this green color and knit across the palm. And so the reason why we knit, we'll knit two rows, well we'll actually knit one row and then purl one row, but the reason why we do two rows is that that makes it easier when you are at the end to remove the stitches and pick up these stitches um, again because we don't, you know, we want convertible mittens, but we don't want there to be a hole in between so that way our palm gets cold. So we'll have to knit some overlapping pieces on the palm. Okay, so I knit across the palm stitches, and now I'm going to turn the work and purl back across to create the second row that I had discussed. So I'm just purling across. And I have to say, as a commuter, I love my convertible mittens. It is so convenient when you have to get your bus pass out of your purse, but it's really cold, and then you don't lose your mittens, but you can still have access to your fingers. Okay, so I've now finished the second round in waste yarn and I'm going to cut my handy dandy scissors, cut the yarn, sorry, so that way I can get it out of the way. And I am going to proceed with my mitten pattern as the instructions indicated by just knitting across these waste yarn stitches in my main color of the mittens. And so what I'm showing you here today is something that will allow you to convert any standard mitten pattern into a pair of convertible mittens. Okay, so there you can now see that we have these two rows of green and I will and the stripe will remain here as I continue finish the mitten and then we'll come back and cut out these stitches picking up the stitches on either end to finish up our convertible mitten. I'm back and I've now finished the thumb and we're ready to uh, pick up the stitches here so that way we can start turning this standard mitten into a pair of convertible mittens. Now to pick up the stitches um, on the green line it helps to turn your mitten inside out um, because on the purl side of the fabric you can actually see the stitches that you want to pi be picking up because they are located in between um, two of the green rows. Now I find it handy to use a needle that's smaller than the one that you used for the stitches So when you're picking them up. So for example, I knit these gloves with size 3 needles and I'm using size 1 needles to start picking up these stitches. Mm -hmm. 
Now I like to I'm trying to give you a closer view. I like to pick up the stitches before I cut the the scrap yarn because I don't want to risk losing any of these stitches and potentially ruining any of my work. So after I'm done picking up the stitches along the cuff side row, I will then go and pick up all of the stitches. that are at the top of the mitten hand row. Yeah. So I'll pick up all the stitches on that row too, and then when I'm done, I'll be back and then we can cut um, the green yarn out. All right, now we have picked up all the stitches, and you wanna double check that you have picked up the same number of stitches as you used when you knit with the waste green yarn because you don't want after you cut the yarn to lose any of the stitches that you need. And so getting it started when you're cutting can be a little tricky, but we just want to start cutting only the green yarn. Because if we cut any of the blue yarn then we start losing our work. And so you'll get little pieces by cutting the two rows in between, you'll get little pieces of green yarn that you can start carefully pulling out. Um, yeah, and so but this is part of the reason why we knit two rows of the green, and you could even do more than two if you wanted, um, because ha only ha having more rows would only help make the spot you're cutting bigger. So I am going to go and continue cutting out the green wool. Okay, so we have completely cut out the green yarn, and we can throw that away, and we now have an opening. So before we start knitting the parts that will overlap, I like to bring the mitten back right side out. And with the knitting needles, and because you don't want to lose any stitches, um, it's easiest to actually do this through the opening. All right. And so just to show you, the reason why we need to knit some more is because when I put the mitten on, this area will separate. And it's not a very good convertible, I mean, you know, we still have a convertible mitten here, but, you know, with a nice good old flap, but we want our hand to be warm, um, we don't want there to be this gap. So what we're going to do at this point is start knitting some ribbing. Um, and so we'll knit ribbing from this end up and then from this end down. And then each of the sides of the ribbing that we knit we will stitch along the sides, um, the sides of the mitten to secure it. This free pattern is available on chemnits.com for more instructions about the ribbing. We have knit the flaps and now it comes time to sew the flaps to the sides of the mitten. So with this big flap on the cuff side, this is going to be going on the inside so that when your hand's in here, it'll be going around the bottom of your fingers. And the smaller flap is the outside flap. And both of these have edges that aren't attached to anything. And so on the inside of the mitten, we're going to sew the big flap down. And then on the outside, we're going to sew the small flap to the edge, too. And so to sew the big flap, uh, I turn the top of the mitten inside out. And then I am going to, with the tails of yarn, stitch the edge to the edge of the top of the mitten. So along here and along here. Once that's done, turn it back right side out. And then I will stitch the edges of the small outside flap to each side as well. And then we will have a completed 
convertible mitten. All right, all that's left to do is to weave in the loose ends, but I wanna show you my completed convertible mitten. So here is the flap that keeps my fingers warm, and then the back is nice and secure over here, because you know, you tuck it around when you put it over. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to turn any mitten into a pair of convertible mittens. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and this video was brought to you by allfreeknitting.com.